This is a 90% reformed, massive village house. Lovely little hamlet. Um, got a few expats living in here, but not too many. Over three floors. Um, you can drive right up to the front and there's room for a small car. Just sit in here. Road carries on. And then turns right at the end and takes you back out of the, the hamlet. About 50, 60 houses in this little town. Most of them lived in and, and predominantly Spanish. But this is an exceptionally large property built over three floors. It's literally been almost started from new, brand new electrics, brand new water connections. Coming in here now at the front hallway. You can see new beam ceilings here. First door on the right, one of the tiny bedrooms, but this, this is predominantly used as a an office space again very good beam ceilings turning back around one of the downstairs guest bedrooms the main bedrooms are on the other floors these are just guest bedrooms and these invariably they get used for storage and putting your your junk in this is one of the downstairs lounges see in there you've got a little door under the stairs there's actually been a wc in the shower room put in there Stairs going up to the upper floor. This is in the centre of the property. Again, very traditional Spanish. It's designed to be very cool in the, in, in the summer. There's another lounge upstairs which has got windows and everything. So this is if you want your cool, chill out room. I'm just sitting here making us a cup of tea. Spot the dog on the rug. Hello, I like my picture being taken. So you've got a nice full size kitchen. I really like this room. It's bright, it's spacious. Got a lovely feature wall running along the side there. Nice built-in bar area. Comes around, plenty of room for a big dining table. And then it takes you out from the back into a nice little courtyard garden. As you can see, nice table and chairs in here, very private. Get sun for a lot of the day, but equally in the evenings, it's nice and cool and shady. So this is where most of the cups of tea and the, the cold beverages are taken. <laughs> Coming back along. Upstairs to the second floor. This is where I was saying you've got another very large lounge. You can see a big leather corner unit in there. Beautiful ceilings again. Off to the right you've got one of the main kids bedrooms really nice idea this there's a shower room en suite at the end there to go through the little archway you've got a nice shower room en suite out of here beautiful little terrace this was a kids herb garden at one stage lovely hillside views coming off of this but just very private totally unoverlooked back in again very large room actually really nice touch what they've done on this floor again could be a bedroom but it's used predominantly as a home cinema room you've got a big plain wall there and it's got a laser projector putting the stuff in but very bright, very spacious. Okay, so coming off of there on the left, you've got another one of the kids' bedrooms. And again, this one not finished off this time, but you've got a full size bathroom and shower room down below. It's all the plumbing's in place. So it's really just final finish and this isn't a tiny bathroom it's a very big bathroom so basically all, all the bedrooms that you you've seen apart from the one that's been used as a cinema room have all got bathrooms en suite so perhaps it could easily be converted into like a little village guest house or something i love these wood stairs they've got to be stained yet coming us up to the top floor And as typical, the owners of this, they've done the kids' rooms, they've done the rooms for everyone else. The last one was left as the one for themselves. So 
this was going to be the master bedroom, the main bedroom's in place. Beautifully large, bright, spacious room. Now off there was going to be their, their bathroom en suite. So it's quite nice actually to see it like this because this is the size of most bubble bedrooms in villas. So more than enough room if you want a large corner suite or a jacuzzi bath or something like that. Over the other side. And that's what you call a walk-in wardrobe. Again, bigger than most people's bedrooms. So this, if you like, the upper floor was really going to be totally a master suite. Sorry, excuse me a sec. Coming out on here with its own private roof terrace. Give you some idea from up here. How about that for a nice view? I appreciate this property hasn't got big garden or anything like that, but the one advantage is it's got lots of terraces and every single one of them's unoverlooked. I think very little work and a little imagination and you've got an absolutely cracking property on your hands here. Yeah. 